This model is of a large Palfinger PK100002 loading crane with a fly jib and is mounted on an MAN TGA chassis. It's modelled by Conrad and comes in the colours of the Austrian company Felbermeyer. It comes in a standard Conrad box with a foam rubber wrapping and the only parts inside are the model and a small bag of parts that have to be fitted. <laughs> There are no instructions for the model but assembly is reasonably straightforward and the first thing to do is to separate the parts with a sharp modelling knife and then the door mirrors and aerials can be fixed to the model. As usual for the MAN cabs it's best to pre-assemble the mirror that goes on the passenger side and just by clipping the mirror onto the frame you can then attach it to the door. As usual it's a pretty good fit and just presses into place and it's normally tight enough that it doesn't fall off or easily get knocked off. And then you can just repeat the same process for the mirror on the driver's side of the cab. The last item to fit is the roof aerial and that on the review model was very easy to do because it just easily pushed into place. The last thing to do by way of preparation is just to remove the tape off of the winch drum which Conrad liked to put on just to prevent the thread getting tangled during shipping. <laughs> The MAN chassis is typically well detailed, the steering is purely functional and the design means that the drive shaft doesn't extend to the engine from the rear axles. However there are different tyres on the steering and driven wheels and the wheel detailing is good with the black central hubs giving a smart appearance. The cab detailing is good with its distinctive white roof, beacon lights and air horns and the front stabilisers give the truck a tough look. The Felbermeyer graphics are really nice on the model with the MAN model number and a fleet number on the cab. At the rear the chassis has a fifth wheel but it's very flat and far forward so it might be difficult to find a trailer that fits. The load box has good graphics, there's a beacon light and painted lights at the rear but no number plate on this model. The outrigger beams are mostly plastic but they have a good colour match. And the pads are on screw thread so you see the thread detail rather than smooth pistons. The big Palfinger crane is a complex piece of modelling with most of the blue parts made of metal and the majority of the rest in plastic, but it certainly looks impressive with some good graphics and multiple cylinders on the boom and on the fly jib. And although the telescopic sections are black plastic they look pretty good. The connection of the fly jib to the boom is riveted and that's probably been done to make sure there's a very strong connection. With the fly jib extended the overall look of the model is pretty impressive. <laughs> Conrad's MAN chassis are good so out on the test track it rolls well in a straight line and if we pick the model up we find that the rear wheels are not fixed onto their axles so you can spin any of the wheels independently and there's also quite a good degree of up and down movement to simulate suspension. Moving to the front the two axles have linked steering and with a bit of effort it can be posed to really quite a hard lock although at that point the tyres are fouling the wheel arches so it won't roll so well but at least it looks good. The MAN cab tilts forward and it can be posed in a tilted position and that lets you see the engine underneath which is quite uh, detailed. Because the cab is quite heavy it closes up with a satisfying clunk. Before looking at the crane functions another feature of the model is the removable load box. It doesn't use the fifth wheel for the connection it just clips onto the chassis and that connection works quite well. There are plenty of stabilizers on the truck and to start with there are a pair at the front and they can just be lowered by unscrewing them. The pads on the cylinders are plastic and the screw thread is visible when the pads are lowered but it's quite strong enough and can hold the weight of the model if you want it to. The other stabilizers on the model are more conventional. At the crane the outrigger post is on a two stage beam that just pulls out and then the post gets rotated by 180 degrees and clips into place. Just like the front stabilizers the pads are lowered by unscrewing and although the beams are plastic they are strong enough to hold the model. At the back the stabilizers are similar except that the outermost beam is in fact metal and again you can lower the pads by unscrewing. Of course the telescopic stabilizers give you complete flexibility as to how far you extend them out so you've got plenty of different ways that you can pose the model. With the outriggers out you can then open the crane up and it's a complex arrangement because you've got a number of moving parts and the cylinders are quite stiff so that's good because it will hold any pose that you want to set and as you would expect you can fully rotate the crane as well. You can display the crane with a fixed hook but of course there is a working winch on the model so you just need to reeve that up before you start 
There's a couple of intermediate pulleys on the boom and the best way to read that is to run the thread under the first pulley and then up and over the second pulley. It's a little bit fiddly to get the thread into place but at least that means it won't bounce off at any time when you're using the model. Once you've run the rope over the intermediate guide pulleys there's then another very small pulley at the connection of the fly jib and the boom. And it's a simple matter just to run the thread over that small pulley. Once you've done that you can then fix the pulley block and the hook to the end of the fly jib so make sure you've got enough rope let out and then it just clips into place. Of course this power finger is a big crane and one of the great features of the model is that you can extend the boom and fly jib out. The telescopic sections are plastic and they rely on friction to stop them closing themselves up which they do pretty well unless you put a significant load on. It's very good that the fly jib will pose at any angle and if you open up the model fully it gets really quite large at about 70 centimeters tall. You can also play crane driver by operating the winch just by moving it with your fingers. The final option you have if you don't want to run a winch line to the end of the jib is just to fix a static hook and you can just clip that into place at the end of the jib. This big power finger crane by Conrad really is very good. It's solidly made, well detailed and the features work really well. And in the colours of Felbermeyer, it's really a very good looking model. Overall, this is an easy model to highly recommend.